one bed in a hospital, tables and chairs in schools, and highways. What do these things have in common? Public procurement. <laughs> That's the purchase of goods and services by the government to serve the citizens. But if left unregulated, things can go wrong. And money from taxpayers is lost, but also it can lead to extreme consequences, such as this one. It happened in Paraguay some years ago. A school folded down because of the use of other standard materials. Very often, we observe these bad outcomes, but it's already too late. So our partner is the DNCP, that's the national agency in Paraguay that regulates all the procurement processes in the country. And its aim is to avoid these bad outcomes. So the DNCP wants to be more proactive and better regulate all the procurement process at the very early stage, so that it leads to less corrupt practices, and at the end, they will serve the citizens with better public goods and services. So what is the main challenge that the NCP faces? They receive 10,000 procurements per year, and they have 30 people in their staff to manually review them and come up with a conclusion whether a procurement is irregular or not. They use all their experiences, all their knowledge to come up with this conclusion in a three-day window. But sometimes they will receive complaints pointing out that the procurement was irregular, but this was not caught during the reviewing process. So this is the problem that the DNCP has. They miss some irregularities. They also waste time and effort reviewing procurements that were OK. Plus, they have some bias, as the complaints are more concentrated on the high value procurements. So what's the solution and how the solution works? It, cont it contemplates all the DNCP past experiences, plus new features. So we combine all the human learnings with the power of machine learning to come up with a solution. But let's see how this actually works. This is the process they have now. But with the solution we built together with the DNCP, we managed to get a prioritized list of all the procurements based on the likelihood of containing an irregularity. So now the reviewer can focus first on the most risky ones. And also, he or she has some guidance on where exactly to look up for the anomaly that needs to be corrected. So what data did we use to make this solution? The DNCP has data on 130,000 procurement processes about what's the agency that wants to buy these public goods and services, what's the price of these public goods and services, did they receive a complaint or not at the end, etc. Plus, more than one million pages of documents related to the, all of these procurements. And this data contemplates 10 years on procurement history in Paraguay. So how many irregularities do we cut with this solution? Now they review on a first-come, 1st first save basis. And by doing this, they're able to capture up to 30% of the bad outcomes in advance. But with the new solution, we will be able to prioritize the list based on the likelihood of containing an irregularity. And with this, they can focus on the most li risky ones. And we will be able to capture 80% of the bad outcomes in advance. And on, on, not only that, they can, all they can also concentrate on the bias that is in the complaints and be more fair in the reviewing processes. So the solution now reduces the missed irregularities, also reduces the wasted time and effort on reviewing procurements that were OK, plus reduces the bias toward reviewing more carefully only the high value procurements. What's the impact of this solution? The solution can turn the tables on corruption because for the first time, it is the regulators that are one step ahead of the process. And now they can, pre they can prevent corruption before it becomes tragedy. Secondly, it is more fair. Now the most expensive procurements are more scrutinized than the lower value ones. But with the solution, we make sure that the lessons learned from the high value corruption cases are also used to understand the problems in the smaller procurements. And last but not least is to increase accountability because now the agencies will be more responsible for better quality procurements. In the case of Paraguay, which GDP is $4 billion, 10% is spent on public procurement. And out of that, 3% is lost due to corruption or irregularities. This means that with our solution, we estimate that we could potentially save for Paraguay $90 million per year. And with this money, Paraguay could build six hospitals or 600 schools or 500 kilometers of road. 
Toronto. Thank you very much for your attention. My name is Maria. This is the team Joao, Wen, Ana, Pablo, Josh, and this is our partner Pablo and Juan from the DNCP. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>